It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. What I think was really unique about what Mr. Rogers was doing is that he embraced people's uniqueness. He had people on who you didn't see on television. I mean, not just a kind of racial diversity, but a diversity of special needs kids on television, which he did all the time, which TV shows still don't do. You know, just showing people that it was totally okay to be exactly what you are, exactly and precisely, as he would say. And I think that complete lack of judgment and that total acceptance was hugely helpful for kids who maybe didn't get that at home. I think the adult tendency is to tell kids not to worry about bad things. But what I think he realized is that kids are way too smart and intuitive. He really just said, let me level with kids. Let me explain to them that bad things do happen, but in age-appropriate ways, I'll help them process those things. Remember hearing about John Lennon being shot in New York and President Reagan and his friends in Washington? Well, the people who are doing these terrible things are making a lot of other people sad and angry. But when we get sad and angry, you and I, we know what to do with our feelings so we don't have to hurt other people. I mean, these are heavy issues for a show for two to six-year-olds, but kids have to deal with these things. I think he was telling kids that they were worthy of human dignity they were worthy of self-esteem. They are worthy of being loved. And in that way, it was hugely empowering. You know, I, I, I think that's something that we don't pay enough attention to. I mean, I, he, he meant such a great deal to so many kids and, and to me too. It's kindness even when it's not deserved. It's this idea of blind kindness, of putting kindness out there in the world. And if you do that, kindness will come back and kindness will take root. You know, it's how we can have a healthy neighborhood or a healthy society is by putting as much kindness out there as we possibly can. Rather than judging something or expressing anger or fear, look for a positive expression of, of those emotions. So looking for the helpers, trying to find compassion, trying to find understanding was something that would always be his first instinct no, no matter what bad thing happened out there. Only one person in the whole world like you. That's you yourself. I'll be back next time. Bye-bye.